Hello and welcome to Bilbo Plays Ravensworn Shadowlands Episode 5 where Bilbo finally, finally will grow the courage to fight the hundreds of goblins at that goblin fort that are really hard to fight. Now, if you've been enjoying this Let's Play, I would really ask you, and it would benefit me if you left a like, as my video, and I apologize for anything that happens, ooh, I finally leveled up, I apologize for any, like, video errors or anything that happens that are similar to that, because I am playing on an airplay, I am playing using the Apple's airplay technology where it plays on a television screen and then I'm filming the footage from the television screen so if there's any stuttering or if there's any yeah su example such as this where it slows down and glitches and lags like that I apologize right now for that and if there's any way to s display my screen and film my screen another way I'd like you to post in the comment section below because this is a, a very complicated way to film. Now, I'm going to keep increasing my endurance because I still don't know how to eat food, unfortunately. I still haven't figured out something as simple as that, but, um... So... My quest leads to where Lemiel needs to me to retrieve a vial of enchanted water from the pool beyond the troll caves. And I need to find these troll caves. Wherever they may or may not be. In fact, I don't even know if they're by the Goblin Fortress or not. I might want to check my map for that. And the map does not seem as big as I once thought it was, especially since I've covered probably a quarter of it, and it's only been the first couple minutes, the first few Let's Plays of this game. And I would really like to see in the next installment of Ravensworn that it's a much larger map, almost. I kind of expected when I first saw the map for it to be as large as the expansion pack for Skyrim. Because... That, to me, was a pretty perfect example of a good sized map. And I think it would be nice if they had something to scale of that on a mobile device. That would be perfect. To scale of the Dragonborn DLC. Because that size is a very, very large size of things to do and places to explore. Although it is uh, not as big as Skyrim itself, but still pretty substantially large. And finally past those few goblins that I was stuck on fighting before. Let's see if I can defeat and best these couple. Yeah, I'm just going to run. As I sprint away, because... I was running out, I was very, very, very overpowered, as you can see here. I wonder what the achievements are like and what they do in this game, because I had no idea there was achievements for the iPhone. And it seems to be glitching up a lot, it's really taking a long time for this tall render which is unfortunate because I really want the quality of this gameplay to show up better than most and I also apologize now that this is the first full let's play that I haven't either a died in or B not had very much action in so as a side note I respect you for following through into all these late let's plays 
that I've had that haven't really been too exciting, you could say. And ooh, we've stumbled upon our first two treasure chests in the game. Let's see what it holds for us. So, a spite club, and some gold, and a nice round wooden shield. So I'm going to take all that. And let me see what's in this chest as well. That's an iron ingot, so I'm going to take that. I don't know if there's, like, mining or smithing in this game. But that would be an interesting way to add on to the gameplay of this Raven Sword game. And I don't know if this is the end of what's past this goblin stronghold. I really want to know where that cave is because I want to finish this quest. And I thought this would be a, the place for it, but maybe not. Unfortunately, I don't think this is. I'm going to tour up to the top anyway, as well, anyways. Simply because my curiosity... My curiosity wants me to. But there's nothing up here, unfortunately. To my unfortunate luck. And that was actually a decent bit of fall damage we received right there. And again, in the comments, post any replies on how to sprint, how to eat food, or or like heal and things like that. Or place items in this inventory that you see down below that I'm touching. Yeah. Or how to sneak as well. Because those are all interesting uh, gameplay items that I would like to touch upon and base off of. And extremely helpful for the way and my game style generally is for RPGs. Generally, I am an archer in RPGs and I like to sneak a lot. So, off of that, I would really like to know how to sneak and how to use archery too, not just sneak. But this looks like it might be what we came to look for for Lemiel on the first quest. Oh, yeah, let's, these are the troll caves. All right, cool. So these caves are going to be filled with dangerous specimen of troll and species of troll. And... Um, I'm afraid we're going to have to conclude this Let's Play right here. Uh, I'm thankful that you're all watching, and I hope you watch the next one as we tour the Troll Caves with Bilbo Baggins.